tourists. Happy February. I hope you're doing well. Okay. All right, guys. Let's go through your messages first. And the funny thing is, before I threw your cards, you're anchored with the justice card. And I feel that you are in the midst of some kind of... Uh, I think you are in the midst of some kind of heated argument here. Um, I can't tell if it's with someone that's overly aggressive, meaning just uh, they're, they're, they always need to be the alpha person in whatever this is. Um, but I think you've got financial struggles here too. But don't panic because I'm going to tell you, I feel that this goes in your favor. You're just going to have to uh, uh, let's go through the cards, but but you do have, I, I really do feel that this goes I'm going to have to get into the cards cards, but your messages are just I feel too these are awakenings for you, and I think that these uh, changes uh, unforeseen things awaken parts of you that really make you um, I can't tell if you're financially I can't tell if someone passed and this is a, an estate you're trying to settle or if this is a, a, a divorce property there's something in here though where there's legalities or maybe you work in the, the court system but there's I think this is personal. I wouldn't have picked up on someone's career um, in a general throw. I feel that, that this is someone, there's someone in your sphere that's overbearing, and I think you're going to have to address that, okay? Um, I think there's a need for someone to express, and I can only hit this reading, guys, from so many angles, so, so just find how you relate to this. But there's, there's shifts within family units. There's uh, a need, a, a strong need to balance emotional control here. I think someone's pushing your buttons or you're pushing someone's buttons. Okay, again, choose your side. Um, again, there are great omens in here for happiness and wealth. So play your cards right here. I want to stress this, though, too, because I keep getting this vision of someone standing on a roof, right, with the flooding waters. Don't wait for things to get so out of control that, that, they're, that you're, like, over your head here. Okay, this can be an actual flood. You may live in a, in a, a part of the world where, where, you know, that may be an issue. But, but I feel this is more metaphoric in... in don't let things get so over your head that that you can't get yourself out, right? Um, again, I feel, too, that something happens here around the springtime for you. So if this payout or whatever it is financial that you're not wait, that you're waiting on, it, it, it may have a spring timeline. And, and for you, if you're not, let's not do seasonal. Let's do... Um, I also see a 15, like a 1 and a 5, so that could be either 1 month, 5 months, 6 months, a year. I wouldn't say it's a year. I, I wouldn't go out that far. Um, okay. Um, Self-confidence, serendipity too, okay? And I think that that's with, that's why I'm saying you've got to be, uh, get your emotions under control here because I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised at what appears to be a shakeup really works. It goes in, in your favor. Like you'll, you won't have to do much. So that's why I'm saying release whatever. Don't let someone steamroll over you. But what I'm saying is don't try to control something so much that you're not leaving room for the universe to come in and surprise you. Okay. I think that things do jolt you here for sure. I'm not going to lie, but I think it's leading to something very positive so be jolted okay there's something here too about private lives becoming public so this is what leads me to believe this may be some sort of uh, court 
scenario where where your private life gets brought into the the the, the light of something here um, or someone else you know that you're dealing with. I think too again I think arguments are going to arise you're really asked to use emotional control here because I think that that someone is really uh, I think that a, a, a strong and I can see it here too because your reading is crowned too with the king of coins we'll get into that but but I didn't even look at these cards yet when I got your messages here which I'm reading to you so there's a big power struggle here your ace in the hole here is to not play the martyr role don't get me wrong here don't don't play the martyr role don't play the victim role but but compose yourself in a way that you don't give away your power right when we engage in screaming matches and this and that we give our power away I'm not saying you know not do anything I'm saying you keep your composure here with this person okay um, prosperity yes I already said that um, I think you're gonna have more than one I think if there's a few decisions you're needing to make here multiple decisions actually um, I feel these conversations are productive okay I don't think I think one person you're not going to be able to deal with but I think the, the conversations overall are productive okay um, I think two phone calls like a literal phone call is it, it's a it goes it, it you're like I think that I think you'll be pleasantly surprised if you play your cards right like if this isn't a new scenario so I think someone may have gotten ill if they haven't or if they're, they haven't passed yet someone may pass but this won't be a surprise to you because this is someone that you would have known was ill okay um, this wouldn't have come out of the, the, the blue here um, but again I think that unexpected things happen not that someone would pass away to teach you a lesson right I think though that that in this scenario here you really gain you're not you're, you're just you're realizing certain things about yourself that you may not have before and sometimes we realize things right but we don't do anything about them sometimes we realize things and, and we have no choice at that time but to do something about that and that's through self-realization right like this just does not work anymore and there's a everyone's got a threshold that they can deal with and then once they reach that they're past that point and that's where this will that's where I feel that this will really come into is is your you're at that threshold right there may be someone in here too it may be an elderly parent it may be a parent it may be someone else that's just overbearing and I think you may stand your ground um, to, to that regard um, money conversations um, I think you may be changing residence you may be changing jobs whatever it is um, I think you've just realized some things right like again we've realized some things at certain points but then there's times where we have to do something about them this is a time where you're not going to be complacent you'll you'll make the moves that you need to, to do okay um, okay that's what I think your messages are it, it really just stems around finance but I think in this finance debacle you find new value for yourself right that's where I kind of think this is going all right now um, we come into your reading here with two fives out of the gate okay five of swords and five of coins right this is where I think you've got in the past you've got the four of swords I think this is uh, remorse seclusion illness uh, not feeling up to par okay where you're anchored here is the justice card I think this is like legal stuff I do think that that this is what this card is okay our energy coming in I'm sorry guys okay is the seven of coins and behind it we've got the death card 
four of coins. Okay. I'm going to take these. I think they're prevalent. All right. Seven of cups decisions, right, which you're going to be making. Um, you've got the death card, which is, again, we're, we're no... We're just letting something go here, or some things go. I think it's more than one thing, right? And you've got the four, um, the four of coins. Here's your energy coming in. Okay. I think they're prevalent. Okay, again, financials. Don't panic about this. I'm telling you, you'll you'll get financial gain here. Okay. There we go. All right. And here we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Play your cards right here. This is to teach you lessons, I think, about really maybe standing up for yourself, seeing the real value of yourself, showing up for yourself, right? Okay. Now, what you're crowned with is the king of coins here. This is who I think, uh, coming up for you, you've got the emperor. This, I think, is the financial, I think this is the argument. I think this is the, there, there's, you're, I think you're against someone here who just either has a holier-than-thou attitude or is just, um, coming on way too strong. This is a strong energy. That's a real strong energy. Okay. Now, you in here is the seven of coins. Okay. And we come in with the seven um, of cups. Okay. This is where I think these are relationships, but more so for you, I think these are awakenings. These are like, this does not work for me anymore, right? You're, again, we're at the threshold where you're going to need to make a, a, a U-turn here, and you're just, like, out of here, okay? Now, um, your public persona, your reputation here, you've got the seven of uh, wands, Take the high ground here. That's what I'm going to say about this. There's something about giving your power away here. You really want to show more so for yourself what you're really made of here, and that's by not engaging in whatever kind of power struggle this is here. Okay? Okay. Now, your hopes and fears... You've got the Hermit card and the Nine of Cups. These are two nines. Again, I think again, this is the end of the road for you. I think you're just taking the high ground, but doing it in a way where you're just, I think this is too, this is on a spiritual level, meaning this hits you from the inside out. That's when we're at our best, right? That's when we're whole, when we're, we're not trying to screw someone over, right? But we're also not going to be taken advantage of either. And that's where you're at. Okay, you can't possibly go wrong there because I think that you're up against someone. I've got to be honest, this is not easy energy you're going to come up against. It's not. It could be someone in, the, in, a, in a legal arena. It could be a boss at work that you're dealing with. But either way, I'm telling you, you come out ahead here. Okay? And it's through your, how you handle this. Okay? Our potential outcomes, you've got the fool. You've got the two of swords. And you've got the page of coins. You're going in a new direction here. Okay. The two of swords with the fool card and the page of coins there, it's, it's I now realize what I need to do. I now realize that it's funny, too, because with 
um, we always need to be upping our game, right? Because an investment we made a year ago is an investment we, we made a year ago, right? Things change and they're forever growing, so we can't get stuck where we are, even financially, right? We need to either make less than we're spending or make more, right? One of the two. It, it's a basic, you know, this is kind of like Rain Man with the math skills. It's, it kind of is what it is. It's a basic basic math, right? But But in investments here, it's like the investment was good a year ago, but what is it paying out now? You know what I mean? We, it, what, my skill set is good. It was good a year ago, but what is it now? We need to constantly be upping our game here or we get left behind. And that's what I think this is about. It's about upping your game financially um, in really, I think, all aspects of your life. I would say expect the unexpected. I would say also um, if something occurred maybe seven years ago, Maybe this, whatever this was may have started out seven years ago. I didn't even, I wasn't watching this, but I got a seven flashed. If, if seven, seven years ago, go back seven years ago and see what you were doing financially, right? Uh, maybe something is maturing from seven years ago that you need to invest, reinvest, do some something with. Uh, there's something around seven. Okay. All right. Um, missed opportunities. Don't get stuck there. You didn't miss anything. I think right now you're being presented with things that open doors for you. So I know you're not big on change, but you're going to have to embrace it here. And I, I think that what you're coming up against, you're going to have no choice but to really just show yourself what you're made of. But I think that in that, I don't think you're going to have to do much outside of your comfort zone. I think that you're going to be pleasantly surprised at what happens here. Okay. Again, this could be an estate. Either way, it involves financials. Your financials will be brought out onto the table. Maybe this is a tax issue, right? Maybe something gets brought up from like seven years ago or maybe something in a Maybe you did something seven years ago that you didn't report, or maybe something, I'm not saying dishonesty, but, but things I think are going to come out. Um, I think you're, some things in your private life, too, that, that always comes out at tax time, right? Um, but this could involve a corporation, your business. It could involve a business that you own, um, business dealings, inheritances. Um, it's funny because I really just see someone going like this. Like in an arrogant way, though, not in a, a civilized way. I really feel like it's someone. You're watching this, though, so I know it's not you. Hmm. This may be family qualm over something. Like a, you never took care of this person or you never did this or something. I'll pray for you on that because that's family drama. I'm sure of that. Um, but again, I feel that there are different paths for you. Um, I don't feel negativeness here. I think you're going to need to go through a bit here, but I think that it kind of sets you free. Because I think that you're, you're, how do I say this? It's, the energy I feel is, is restless complacentness. And by, by that I mean just, Again, like that meatloaf song, all dressed up and nowhere to go, but it's energy-wise. It's like it's like energy that needs to be put to use, too. This could be someone to a parent here or, or someone that's dealing with um, – this could be someone that is either overweight or someone that's got uh, a lot of energy to burn. There's something like that. That energy would feel very heavy like this. So that'll be for either of you. I mean, you could be, that could be, um, the energy feels the same with that.
okay, you may not get what you expect, but I really, your messages are just, you may not get what you expect. I think you get a lot more than you expect. So I'm going to camp out on that. That's how I feel this goes here. Okay. Let me clarify the seven of wands here. Because I can't tell if that's someone coming at you like that. That's your reputation. Or if people are just seeing you like that. I'm not a fan of messages that say your public, your private life gets dragged out into the public. Because sometimes that's not lovely. Especially when you tell someone something, say you're in a relationship and, and your, your partner knows things about you that just, you know, you don't think when you're telling that it's ever going to be really something. Till the day you're sitting in court and get the shock of your life, right? Okay. Okay. Clarifying the Seven of Swords which is your reputation. You've got the Four of Swords, the Sun card. See, I felt that. And the Queen of Swords. This may be a divorce, right? It may be some kind of malpractice, something or other. Um, Either way, someone may drag something out about you, but the sun card here is, and you'll know exactly how to handle it, okay? Four of Swords, we've got that in the past. This is your six months to a year we've got that. And it's clarifying your seven. Pace yourself. That's what I'm going to say here. Just pace yourself. Because this showing up two times could speak of um, you needing to take some downtime, keep your head in the right spot. It could be illness, like I say. Um, it could be someone dragging something out like that in public, right? But the sun card next to it kind of says... Um, Tread lightly, but know your boundaries. You know what I mean? Like, come across, like, show up in a, in a good light, right? So the sun card is really a great card. Um, it's a yes card. It's a blessing card. It's just a card, though, that says, you know, you've got to work with... You've got to be willing to let some stuff go, right? So, and that sometimes that means just aggression, you know? letting things go, like really just letting them go. Okay. All right, Taurus, there you go. I hope that I helped you in some way. Um, I think you're going to have a few challenges, but I don't think you're not going to, I don't think you're going to come out in a negative in any regard. Okay. Again, I can only read this from one direction. All right. So you can be on either end of this coin. So if you're on the receiving end, know you're up against some heaviness some heavy hitters here, so just plan accordingly. Again, I think conversations go well. I think, you know, your finances do come out in the open here, you know, but I also see gain here, so there you go. Okay, thank you so much.